I'm enjoying a couple of weeks rest with my wife and I love it where I'm at out in the desert in California, the desert that blooms green because of all the water they put on all the golf courses and, and yet I miss Hawaii. I miss my friends and particularly this morning I just watched a, um, a memorial video to a friend of mine, a dear, dear friend. Uh, we called him Uncle Holly, uh, Holly Kekaoha. Uh, he found the Lord, his whole family jumped in a huge clan of people blessed us all so much one son is a worship leader in one of our hope chapels another is really involved in in the church that i pastored hope chapel Kaneohe bay now anchor church uh, granddaughters involved in worship but just this incredible man who uh, when i met him it was like he was resistant you know didn't really want us around and, and then invited us into his life and and for all of the years that we were in Hawaii, we were there about eight months before I met Holly and Brenda Kekoha and uh, their sons and their grandchildren and just uh, an incredible life. And what it really underscores to me is whoever you are, wherever you live, whatever you're doing, whatever you think about church, whatever you think about what is success or what is not success, what really matters are the people that you treasure that God brings into your life and, and then how you treasure them and how you take advantage of the fact that you got them for a little while and and then like Uncle Holly they're moving to heaven and and you're going to be without them in, until you get there. Holly was famous for a Hawaiian version of the 12 days of Christmas. It's really goofy. It's a funny funny song. I got a hunch maybe they're singing it in heaven right now. Uh, that old rascal he just changed all of our lives in so many wonderful ways. I want to learn a lesson from him. The life that he lived in the way that I live my life uh, especially in these final years of it, uh, I want to make the most of it. God bless y'all.